In case y'all don't know, I recently invested in a bicycle because I hate gas stations. Let me tell you why. Now, prior to me going to the gas station, McDonald's has set the record for fucking up my order for the 14th consecutive time in a row. 14 times in a row. So it's not like I gave up on y'all. Y'all motherfuckers keep giving up on me. What's so goddamn hard about making a plain grilled club sandwich? Add mayonnaise, add cheese, add bacon. With a fucking sweet tea that don't taste like goddamn diabetes. Anyways, I leave there after swerving the fuck around because I noticed that my sandwich was fucked the fuck up and go to the gas station. I was running low on gas thanks to my sandwich swapping situation. Sandwich swapping situation. That's called alliteration. Don't ever say I ain't teach you shit. Actually, I put that in there on purpose for the teachers that actually watch my videos. The type of teachers that love to say that my videos are poison just because I use curse words to get my fucking point across. Did you know that the most honest people on this planet use curse words? No, this is some real shit. This has been proven by scientists and stuff like that. And that's how I knew that school was a fucking lie. But not to down your profession or anything, you keep on lying. I mean teaching. Whatever. Anyways, I pull up to the gas station. Anyways, I pull up to the gas station and I walk inside to the counter and it's this unfit mother smacking her damn son upside the head with Skittles and Arizona cans. And don't you know how you can't say shit because black moms, they the typical ones to snap on you so you don't want to get snapped on so you just shut the fuck up and just laugh to yourself. That's what the fuck I did because I don't got time for that shit. I sat there with my head down and I was laughing because I didn't want to cause no problem. So they moved out the way and I walked up like, let me get 20 on pump three. And then this nigga tells me and shit, I'm sorry, we don't have any gas. What? We don't have- Oh, I heard what you said, motherfucker. But you see, I was under the impression that this was a gas station because, you see, outside there's pumps and gas prices and big black letters on this big ass pole thing. And I pulled over because I was low on gas and I came in here because this is, again, a gas station and I expected to get some damn gas, but y'all ain't got no gas. Okay. I went the fuck off. First of all, you could have been out of everything else in this motherfucking gas station. Batteries, cigarettes, condoms, what? But instead, you out of the only thing that you really have to supply, and that's fucking gas. Second of all, why the fuck is gas so damn high? Why are you $4.87 and a gas station right across the street, like 10 feet from here, is $4.86? I can do marvelous things with that damn penny. You lucky I didn't take my ass across the street. Third of all, bitch, why the fuck ain't there a sign up that clearly reads, we ain't shit? Cause that's exactly what y'all ain't. Shit, non-gas having ass bitch. I wouldn't be so upset if y'all would actually just say that y'all ain't had no damn gas instead of piling all these damn cars up and shit because we think you got gas and you ain't got no fucking gas. You had one. Fucking job, and that was get me some damn gas. And you couldn't do that shit? How the fuck don't you got no goddamn gas? Do you hate gas stations? Do you think gas is too damn high? Would you like gas to be low? Well, like this video and share it. With all these motherfucking gas stations, the one that's up the street, the one that's down the street, the one that's right next door that didn't give you no damn Skittles that one day when you went in there. So to all y'all gasless ass gas stations out here giving out no gas, acting like I'm the one that told your ass to sign up for this damn job back in the day when you signed up for this damn job. Don't get mad at the fucking customer because I just want some shit that you supposed to have in this bitch. Fuck you. I'm mad. Don't say shit to me like, you know if you need me I'll always be there for you. Bitch, where in the fuck was you at when I actually needed your ass in a relationship? Am I fucking a? Don't be all butthurt when you see me dating somebody that appreciates the shit that I do for them. Bitch, you had your chance and blew it. Don't come trying to fuck up my new relationships, cause you might get fucked up. Now, some exes can be very.